This is 11-7 practice buddy Drake. Number one, Roberto made fruit punch. He used three quarts of mango juice and one pint of pomegranate juice. He used one quart more of cranberry juice than mango juice. How many cups of fruit punch did he make? All right, so the first thing we have to do is find out how much of everything that he made in cups. Uh, so the first one is mango. Uh, mango. He had quarts. And we need to take it to pints so that we can take the pints to cups. Uh, one quart equals two pints. He had three quarts. How do we get from one to three? Times three, which gives us six pints. Then we have one pint equals two cups. He had six pints. How do we get from one to six? Times six, which is 12 cups. So he has 12 cups of mango. Uh, one pint of pomegranate. Uh, so over here for pomegranate, we have pints to cups. He has one pint, which is just two cups. So he has two cups of pomegranate, and he used one extra quart of cranberry juice than mango juice. So instead of using three quarts, he used four quarts. All right, well, four quarts, one to four is times four which is eight pints, eight pints, going from one to eight is times eight, eight times two is 16 cups. So he used 16 cups of cranberry juice. So now we have to add up the total cups. We had 12, two, and 16. Uh, two and two is four plus six is 10. One, one, and one is 30 cups. A fruit punch. Camila's backyard is in the shape of a rectangle and has a length of 16.5 feet. It cost her $976 to fence in the yard. Perimeters fence. If fencing cost $16 per foot, what was the width? Okay, so we have a rectangle. And it says that the length is 16.5, which means this length is 16.5, but we do not know uh, the widths. Uh, we do know the total to fence is 976. So the first thing we need to do to find the perimeters, we need to add these two or multiply them, but I'm just gonna, I'll multiply it faster. Uh, 5 times 2 is 10, regroup my 1, 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13, regroup my 1, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. I have one spot after the decimal, so I have to move it back. So, so far, my perimeter is 33 feet, but I'm still missing two sides, two sides. Uh, it cost her $976, and it's $16 for, per foot. Uh, so I need to see how many feet she bought a fence. So I can take my 976, that's the total cost, and divide it by $16 a foot, and that will tell me how many feet. Uh, so I can do that six times. 16 times 6, just so that you can see that it's 6 times. 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3 is 9. So I'm going to subtract my 96. I'm left with a 1. Bring down my 6. 16 will go into there uh, 16 times. Uh, so I'm buying 61 feet of fence. So my total perimeter is 61 feet. Well, I've already used 33 feet. So how much is left? Well, I can subtract 61 minus 33. Regroup. 11 minus 3 is 8. 5 minus 3 is 2. So I have a total of 28 feet to put here and here. Well, how many spots is that? Two. So if I take 28 divided by 2, 2 will go into 8 four times. So our answer for the missing width is 14 feet.
Abigail is putting ribbon around a picture of her cat. The picture is 200 millimeters wide and 250 millimeters tall. How many meters of ribbon will she need? All right, so again, we have a rectangle. It's 200 wide, 200 wide, 250 long, 250 long. Uh, it's going around, which is perimeter. So we have to add this up. 250 plus 250, I'm just going to do that in my head, it's 500. 200 plus 200, I'm going to do that in my head, it's 400, which equals 900 millimeters. But they want to know how many meters that is. Meters to millimeters, one meter equals 1,000 millimeters. Uh, we have 900 millimeters. How do I get from 1,000 to 1? I divide it by 1,000. So I have to divide 900 by 1,000. And that means I'm going to move my decimal three decimal spots. So I'm going to move it 1, 2, 3. I move it to the left because I'm dividing. So my answer is going to just be 0.9. Aubrey is putting flooring in a room that is 13 feet long and 10 feet wide. The flooring costs $4 per square foot. How much will the flooring be for the room cost? Or how much will the flooring for the room cost? All right, it's $400 per square, square, square foot. Square area is squared. Area is squared. So we're going to do area equals length times width. Uh, the length is 13. The width of the room is 10. 13 times 10 is 130 feet squared. Now, we have to, we have to pay for the floor. It's $4 per square foot. So 130 times $4. 4 times 0. 4 times 3. 12. 4 times 1. 4 plus 1. 5. Our answer is going to be $520. Adam has 110 cubic centimeters of water. He wants to pour it into a container that is 3 centimeters high, 50 millimeters wide, and 6 centimeters long. Will all the water fit? Uh, so we have 110 cubic centimeters, which means centimeters times centimeters times centimeters. Uh, what, are we, what do we have? Well, we have 3 centimeters times... 50 millimeters times 6 centimeters. Oops, 6 centimeters. Uh, what's wrong with this? Well, we have this millimeters. So we need to turn our millimeters into centimeters to make it work. Uh, 1 centimeter equals 10 millimeters. That is the conversion rate. How many millimeters do we have? 50. How do we get from 1 to, I'm sorry, from 10 to 50 uh, times 5? What's well, 1 times 5? Five, 5. So that is going to convert to 5 centimeters. So now we just have to multiply 3 times 5 times 6. Uh, I'm going to do 6 times 5 first, which is 30, times 30 is 90 centimeters cubed. So that's how much water it will hold. We need to pour 110 cubic centimeters in it. Uh, 110 is too much. It will overflow. So it will not fit because the container is 90 cubic centimeters, which is, uh, not let me click it, hold on. Ooh. Oh, there it is, didn't see it. Which is less than the volume of water, so it won't fit. Claudia is saving $3 from her allowance every week. Ty is saving $1 the first week, $2 the second week, $3 the third week, and so on. At the end of nine weeks, you will have saved more money and how much more? 
All right, well, Claudia, it's $3 a week for nine weeks. So Claudia is going to save three times nine, which is $27. Uh, Ty is doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, and that's how much he's saving each week. So the first week's a dollar, the second week is two dollars, three dollars, continuing on. Uh, so we have to find his total. Uh, so four plus three is seven, two plus one is three, uh, seven plus three is ten. Let's see down here. Uh, nine plus six is fifteen, uh, eight plus seven is fifteen, and then fifteen plus fifteen is thirty. 30 plus 5 is 35, and 35 plus 10 is 45. So who saved more? Uh, Tyler did. And how much more did he save? Well, 45 minus 27, regroup. 15 minus 7 is 8. 3 minus 2 is 1. 18 dollars. Renato is painting a backdrop for the school dance. The rectangular backdrop is 72 inches by 39 inches. If a container of paint can cover 23 square feet, does he have enough paint? Uh, so we're painting the whole thing. We're covering this background. Uh, we're finding the area. And so we have to do 72 times 39. 9 times 2 is 18, 9 times 7 is 63, plus 1 is 64, placeholder. 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 7 is 21, add 8, 10, 8, 2 inches, I'm sorry, that is, yeah, inches squared. All right, so the other one is square feet, but this is square feet, this is squared inches. Uh, a square foot, well, a square foot is one foot times one foot, which would be 12 inches times 12 inches. 12 times 12 is 144 inches. So that is how much, how many square inches is in a, a square foot. So we have to take this 144 times 23 to see how much paint we have. 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, placeholder. 2 times 4, 2 times 4, 2 times 1, add 2, 11, 13, 3. So we have 3, 3, 1, 2 inches squared of paint. We only need 2808. So yes, he has enough. He does have enough because the area of the back, oh, they did it in square foot. <sighs> All right, so we have to turn uh, the area of the background, we have to turn that into feet. I should have looked at that. Crud bud. All we have to do is take our 2808 and divide it by 144. Um, that's going to be one time. I'm guessing that's nine. That didn't work out evenly. I'm going to have a remainder. This one might be wrong. I might have to look at this one later or delete it. <laughs> 